Over the weekend, a Texas aerospace company made history with the first fully successful landing on the moon by a private firm. Yes, the moon. So it is the second private mission to the moon, but the first lander toppled over after touchdown. Mark Strassman has more on this latest landing. Y'all set the landing. We're on the moon. <laughs> the landing flawless. The first pictures, stunning. Firefly's Blue Ghost Lander casting a shadow across the lunar surface. In the distance, the Earth and all of us 240,000 miles away. I'm so proud of you know that lander and the team that built it. It's incredible. Ray Allensworth is spacecraft oh program God. director at Firefly Aerospace. All right, go Thanks. ahead. Yeah. Well, we first met her and her company's Blue Ghost Lunar Lander three months ago. Six feet tall, 11 feet wide, with four landing legs now touching lunar dust. So their camera is distributed basically all the way around the landers. Ignition and lift off. Launched in January, Blue Ghost cameras captured video of its journey from Earth to lunar orbit. Its mission delivered 10 payloads to the lunar surface for NASA. So if we kind of look down, you see over there, you see that, that spout kind of coming down. I do. So that's the drill, and it will deploy down and go into the lunar surface. This drill will try to penetrate nine feet below the surface to measure temperature. Another experiment will vacuum up loose lunar rock and dust. Our payloads are collecting data so we can figure out what does it feel like to, to be on the lunar surface, to operate on the lunar surface. So all that data will inform when we actually return humans to the moon. It really does open up a whole new way for us to get more science to space and to the moon. Blue Ghost should survive about two weeks or one lunar day until the sun sets and its batteries drain. It's nervous to think about. But for Allensworth, until Sunday, the moon seemed so far away. Not anymore. You just imagine, like, that's where it's going to be, but now you know it's there. And that, that's a totally different feeling. So, yeah, I, the next full moon, I'll, I just won't sleep. I'll just I'll stare at it all night. One moon landing at a time, space companies like Firefly now prove that they have the right stuff. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman in Atlanta.